That's what he likes. Because <laughs> when it comes time to editing, there may be a good shot that will show from this camera, or you may have a better shot from that camera. And at some point in time, the one behind her head that's getting the back of her head can actually get some stop action of the bites moving around and the bugs in her, in her scalp. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sophie doesn't have bugs or mites. All right, come here. You're going to come out of there. So you shouldn't be doing this because I want you to keep going like this. <laughs> I'm not a steady camera woman. You're fine. You've been doing great for years. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're such the bomb. I can feel the right. Come over here. Yeah, that's as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Okay, that should be good. Do you want? Okay. I don't want to eat this one. I can say that. You don't want to eat this one? Yeah. Do you remember the mass, the the um, abscess we were working on that one day, and my mouth was open because it was really cool, and I was like, <gasps> Was it the snake one? It wasn't a snake. It was a dog, but it's still gross. Hold still, and I won't get soap in your eye. Right. Put a hand right here too, Heather. There you go. Yep. Well, there's the original injury. This one did not get any pre-op anti-inflammatories, please. Um, okay. I thought you got some. Oh. This is got some what? You can't have any more. Dang right, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I know, buddy. All right. And what are you doing now? This is a local block. Bad news about local blocks is they usually do not work well in areas of high high acidity, which is the definition of almost every abscess on the planet. But just so I can say I tried. She's a natural born empath. You can hear her whining when I'm doing this to somebody else. Did you put that blade in here? Mm -hmm. See it. That's gonna be a big chunk. Mm. <laughs> I'm like in the direct line of fire. <laughs> Sorry, I have never hit you with an abscess. Just, just that masses. Is. Likes to spike football size mm. masses. Oh, it's coming up the bottom. Oh, it's coming up the bottom. Oh, yuck. Well, you found the path of least resistance, and it wasn't where I thought it was. Do I need to turn some for you? Better? Yeah. I need some swabs. Yeah, that's like paper in there. This stuff like makes some weird. Oh, look how much. Sorry, 
she's just slipping. There we go. Stinks. Yep. She's cutting us off to the arm. Oh, my God. Side. No, that's just the jawbone. It scared me for a second yeah, there. That's why I saw you feel that. Uh -oh. Alright, gonna put a hole right here. hole that I made before and out the other hole I made the second time so I do when it's heels it won't fill up and go out of his mouth again yeah we're gonna use Clorhex oh all right, someone's going to ask what the blue thing is. The blue thing is a makeshift Penrose drain. It turns out that they don't make drains this small that I've ever seen in human medicine that veterinarians can afford. <laughs> Actually, I've never seen them. And if they were, they probably would be way too expensive. So what we learned is we can actually sacrifice a piece of glove and make a drain that will allow this infection to heal. To heal around the drain. Why are you whispering? Because we're being recorded. Oh, is that what it is? Oh, never mind. I should feel a whole lot better to you. No more hair. She's clean. Right in her eyeball. Dry. Are they dry? Dry. And this flush is chlorhexidine that we're using. Nah, I'm not greedy. Mm -hmm. 
saw that? That was close. I did. Hey. It was not close. Uh, How's it going? Um, good. 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 Well, this is 10 days. It's a big hole in it. Yeah, I can't believe that. That's insane. The good news is, most of the green stuff's out. You flush it one or two more times. Would you believe she ate last week? No. Wow. That's the part I find remarkable. Oh, no, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, that's alcohol. Don't do that one. Ow! Here's, ow. A, here's a dry one, too. Sorry about your eyeballs. I think you know we're trying to help you. That's the cool part. Man, you gave me more more struggle for an x-ray. Yeah. All right. Okay. So the mission is, the x-rays actually show that the jawbone, ow, I did get bit. That was me. Sorry. <laughs> the maxillary bone right across here actually has some osteomyelitis. The maxillary bone on this side is actually fine. It's actually on top of the bone, and it's about to erode into the actual sinuses itself, but it's not quite that far. Um, we'll add some x-rays to this video as well. Uh, to see it anyway what we're going to do is this is just meant if this is a gram negative anaerobic infection and the smell here is kind of uh from this nastiness that you see here um does have that uh that that tendency what will happen is just to keep it open so more oxygen will get in there it turns out that oxygen is twice as toxic to the average gram, ne gram negative anaerobic bacteria than any antibiotic we have on our shelf so if we just leave it open that in itself will help this to heal and shrink up real soon now we just have to choose the right antibiotic. It turns out this was cultured before at a different hospital. We'll get those results, but in the meantime, I'm gonna go for my favorite, marble floxacin, and uh, we're gonna give this girl a pill every other day for a while. Um, other than that, over and out. We'll see how she looks in two weeks.